Good Friday morning, slipping right on into Saturday, into the weekend. Let's look at the New Testament today, Ephesians 5.17. So then do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. I like what the scripture tells us about Saul as he became Paul in his conversion experience on the Damascus Road once again. Let's read Acts 9.20. And immediately... He began to proclaim Jesus in the synagogue and saying, He is the Son of God. Wow. Immediately. You know, when we are told to do something and we have a conversion experience, a lot of times we just wait and wait and wait and wait. I see in the scriptures that most of the time when God has us wait, it's to be a learning experience and we're waiting in the gates to go and do what he has for us to do. Paul was so sold out to the Lord Jesus Christ that it said, and immediately he began to proclaim Jesus. Are you proclaiming Jesus even now? How many of us are older Christians and we're not proclaiming Jesus in this day and time because he's not popular? It's not near as woke to proclaim Jesus as it is a, a social movement. It's not near as woke to claim Jesus as it is to uh, uh, follow these radicals that are telling us that uh, we're supposed to be... Uh, painting graffiti all over everything and taking over small sections of cities. How about if we do like Paul and immediately just proclaim Jesus? You know, you're not going to get saved any other way, and I can't get saved any other way than to come to Jesus like we have. But other people need to hear it too. Are you proclaiming Jesus immediately? Food for thought. He did not wait around and look for reasons. He could not be a witness to his new life and proclaim his new Lord, his, his Lord and Savior. See, he didn't wait and look for reasons not to do what he was supposed to do. Remember, this was a man who just earlier, days earlier, had been vocal, violent, hater of Christians. Now he is sharing the good news of Jesus Christ. How many of us still after years have not proclaimed our Lord in word and deed? Both. I have a lot of people say, well, I show him in deeds. Well, how about proclaiming him in word? especially to the people you love and the people you hate even. Now let us this day get hold of the truth of how many saw and were amazed at the wisdom and truth of this new Christian. Here's what we're, said, what we're told in the very next verse in Acts 9, 21. And all those hearing him continued to be amazed and were saying, Is this not he who in Jerusalem destroyed those who called on this name and who came... Who had come here for the purpose of bringing them bound before the chief priest? What changed? What made Paul start proclaiming Jesus instead of persecuting him? What made Paul start holding Jesus up rather than cursing him? What made Paul pursue people to get saved rather than pursue people to death? It all boils down to he immediately did what Jesus told him to do. God gives wisdom. What is wisdom? It is the ability to see life from God's point of view. Please, next time you think of wisdom as a de and a definition for wisdom, think of that definition. It is the ability to see life God's, from God's point of view. When you get saved and are s surrendered to Him, when you are walking in the Spirit, filled with the Spirit, you're going to find out that you have the mind of Christ. How do you get the mind of Christ? Let the Holy Spirit teach you. Study the Word of God. Look at the Word of God. But more importantly... Do not be ashamed of him. But preacher, I'm not ashamed of him. I just don't put it out there for everybody to see. What does Jesus say? You're either for him or against him. Be enough for him. Everybody knows who you're for. They don't have to wonder. Go get him. Go get him. Get somebody saved today. Go and proclaim Jesus Christ. Dear gracious Heavenly Father, let us not be so afraid to speak truth that we refuse truth. In Jesus' name we pray.